Good evening, everyone, and welcome to this uh, special segment. Um, it's Kyle. You know, I'm here in Haiti, and today we're going to talk about something very special. We have two special guests with us, um, two women that have been really involved in some humanitarian causes in Haiti. I have with me today the one and only Haitian-American act actress. You know her, Garcel Beauvais, with me. Mm -hmm. And La June Montgomery Tabon, she's the president and CEO of the WK Kellogg Foundation. And today we're going to talk about a big news that was announced uh, sometimes this week. And it was a very important news for, for Haiti, but also for everything that's happening in terms of humanitarian work in Haiti and trying to create a better future for this country. So ladies, um, welcome. Comment nous Hello, Garcel. Hello, La June. Yes, ça passe. Ça passe. is good to have you. All right, so we're going to definitely jump in uh, right away. Um, the Kellogg Foundation recently announced a 30 million three year commitment action. And right after, there's some other partners that committed another 20 million. That's $50 million for, yes, it's, it's a really good news to invest in local effort in Haiti. So, Lajun, can you tell us a little bit, what is the main objective of the Pocket of Hope campaign? Yes, thank you. And uh, we are very excited to launch this campaign. And as you mentioned, uh, the W.K. Kellogg Foundation committed $30 million. We're hoping to raise $60 million in additional resources, uh, totaling over $90 million that we would use to invest in the local organizations and the work that's happening on the ground in Haiti. So we are so excited for the $20 million campaign. We have then 40 million to go and we are continuing to encourage funders and people to engage with us as we lean into the work on the ground in Haiti so that we can improve the lives of uh, as many families and children of Haiti that we can reach. No, definitely. So Pocket of Hopes, uh, uh, it's, it's a really nice word for the campaign because in Haiti, we also, we often talk about the resilience of the people, how brave we are, but that's the hope that keep us going. And Pocket Amen. of Hope uh, only, only makes sense. So now, Garcel, tell us, how do you get involved with uh, the WK Kellogg Foundation on this project? You know, I, yes. <laughs> and so when uh, the Kellogg uh, Foundation uh, reached out to me, it made sense. You know, I always talk about Haiti and how much, you know, I don't want people to forget mm -hmm. that we are resilient. We are hopeful, but we need help. You know, and we also want to change the narrative of what we see in the news. Yeah. You know, there are people doing good things and let's highlight those people and what they're doing and support them. And so that we can change the narrative so that Haiti can be the Haiti that I knew growing up mm -hmm. and, you know, just enjoying the culture and the music and the food and the, you know, all of that. I want, I want the opportunities, the children to have the opportunities that they deserve. Yes. I remember the last time you, 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 you came to Haiti, it was 20, 20, 2015. And, and, and yes. And then you went... I came 2015 and then I came again right before the, the pandemic. Yes. A lot has changed in Haiti yes. right now. And, and that's why I think like your involvement uh, on this project is very crucial. Because definitely I think also the main objective is to have and to support locally led um, exactly. initiative. Why is it so important uh, to have that? Because um, I, I had a conversation with uh, um, the Kellogg Foundation back in March in Boston. And what I realized is just the WK Kellogg Foundation is one of the biggest, if it's not the biggest, supporters of Haitian initiative and the humanitarian side in Haiti. So why is it really important that you keep supporting what's happening in Haiti, Haitian-led initiative, Haitian-led organizations. Um, and that's exactly what you're doing right now with the Pocket of Hope. 
I think it's important. I'll let Lejeune yeah. speak because she obviously knows more. But I think it's important to give the people the power. Mm -hmm. Give them the power that they need and support them. It's not about coming in and just throwing money anywhere. It's really about supporting the people that are doing the good work. And that's what I love about what the Kellogg Foundation is doing. It's going directly to the people that are making a difference. Yes. And that's why we want to support that. Legend. Yeah. Yeah, we've been working in Haiti uh, for decades. And for us, it is very important to build relationships with the local leaders and support the local organizations. They are on the ground. They know what's best. We are there to partner with them to help them reach the aspirations that they have for their communities and for the children and families. And that's critical. Change happens when people on the ground lead the change and sustain the change. Mm -hmm. We understand that. That is how we do our work at the Kellogg Foundation. And over the years, we've built great partnerships and networks in Haiti. And we want to continue. Uh, to continue this effort and introduce these great networks to other funders so that we can work together to continue to make sure that the children and family of Haiti are cared for. True. All right. But also over those 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 years of involvement in Haiti, can can we maybe pinpoint a little bit some big impacts that you see on the ground and things that make you proud and also give you hope for a better future in Haiti? Sure. Uh, and there are many. Uh, I like to talk about the Model School Network, which is an effort uh, that is uh, creating a curriculum for all school systems in Haiti so that every child can have access to quality education. And it's a collaboration. It is the Catholic school system, the charter school system, the public school system, all coming together and collaborating around what's best for every child and making sure that no matter what choice the family makes regarding education, it's a quality choice and mm -hmm. every child can thrive. Those are the types of partnerships. That's just one. I could also speak to you about the Haiti Food Systems Alliance mm -hmm. that came together and provided food and nutrition for children during the pandemic and continuing to provide access to healthy food. Uh, of course, uh, one of the organizations that we partner with and I know is uh, very special to Garcelle as well, Funkose, yeah. uh, a great organization on the ground, trusted partner, doing this work in community. So we want to lift up all of these organizations, and there are many, uh, and we have, you know, created a great relationship, a trusting relationship, and we want to build a network of partners where together we can make a difference mm, in definitely. Haiti. Yes. So, Garcelle, you're, you're, you're not new to this. You're very familiar no. with uh, humanitarian works in Haiti. How is this um, partnership different and, and what are you looking forward to it? Yeah, I'm looking forward to, you know, I feel like Kellogg Foundation has been on the ground for a long time with Haiti. Mm -hmm. So it's nothing new. But what I love is that the fact that it's going to the people, mm -hmm. that's important to me. You know, it, it's it's about supporting the people who are doing the work. It's about supporting people who are there every day. It's not about, again, like being a hero coming in and, you know, some organizations just come in and they come out. They, they're committed to helping Haiti. And that's what I want to see. I want to see a difference. Um, and so I love what they're doing and I'm partnering with them. And, you know, hopefully I know we will together bring change because that's really important. That's a goal. That's definitely the goal. All right. Yeah. So before before we wrap up a little bit, I I, I really want to uh, um, talk about how people can get involved into this yes. because, um, of course, we have those organizations working in Haiti, and I work with a bunch of them. And the biggest problem that some of them have is like they're working in, in into communities, but sometimes 
they 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 don't really get the recognitions or the it's support or some people don't really value what they're doing because you know in Haiti we have also some bad experiences with NGOs getting monies from now and then and not doing the the right thing so how yeah. do you think people can get involved and support the uh, pocket of hope uh, project campaign this year. We want everyone to go to HaitiPocketsOfHope.com. Uh, you can find more information about how to engage. Uh, we want you to learn about this work, learn about these partners and, and all of the great work that's happening on the ground and join us. Uh, so HaitiPocketsOfHope.com is where you can go to access much information and, you know, determine how you want to be a part of this effort in Haiti. Yeah. yeah and I also think it's important for people to be open-minded. I know, you know, maybe they're discouraged because other companies have come in and maybe not fulfilled what they thought they would. I think it's having an open mind and being okay to saying, I need help. Yep. You know, we are very prideful people, <laughs> you know, <laughs> Definitely. and sometimes it's hard to say, you know, we need the help and can you help me? And I think it's okay to say that. No, oh, definitely, definitely. And I think you had a a, a, a video, a, a short video that really highlight the, the spirit of Haiti le- launching that campaign. And I will yeah. definitely end uh, this interview with uh, that video so people can really understand what is it about. Because um, the future of Haiti is is about everybody putting their hands together, Haitians, but also, as you said, uh, Garcel, we, when we need help, we need to cry for help and get the right help to get things done uh, on the ground. Absolutely. So I really yeah, appreciate the, the effort of the uh, WK Kellogg Foundation, and I hope that uh, very soon you're going to get the, the other part of the, <laughs> of, yes, of the funds that you need so we can definitely um, do, uh, uh, like, accomplish the, the, the mission, I would say. But, but before we go, I really want to know as well, um, how do you uh, define success in your projects? Like, what would be some type of... Uh, things that you would see on the ground and those projects and maybe working with those organizations that will say, yes, we're on the right path and then we're going forward. Yeah, for us, it's how they document the successes and they get shared with other communities. So the work is exponential in its impact and the communities that we can serve. So we want to learn from these efforts. We want to learn the great impact we're having on children and families. We want to know information about how the project is going. And then we want that shared so that uh the the goal here is to reach as many children and families in Haiti as we can definitely Garcel, this is the same thing for you we for for me i would love to see you know i would love to see you know i have nostalgia for the haiti that i grew up in yeah okay like seeing you know kids going to school and and thriving and getting medical care and people laughing and 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 supporting one another. I really wanted to get back to you know just being happy and thriving and and uh, and not worrying so much. Definitely. All right. The website is uh, both in English and Haitian Creole. Uh, nous allons checker website là pour moun ki ap gade yo et certain que n'a pas content we Garcel Bovet souli et gade comment que li involve nan projet ça so thank you very much uh, la June thank you Garcel and um, I know everything is going to be fine you're going to reach the goals that you that you want and also people in Haiti will definitely be happy to benefit to those kind of projects that's happening on the ground for those children and families all over Haiti Oui, merci beaucoup. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much. <laughs> Good. Hot. C'était Garcel Bouvet avec uh, CEO uh, WK Kellogg Foundation qui est avec moi qui t'a parlé nous de Haiti Pocket of Hope pour Dieu checker online Konya. Thank you very much ladies. It was a pleasure. Thank you Aaron. Merci, merci. Thank you. Bye bye. 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 Thank you.
ei vei pichit mai. Nu cum faci Nu ne bica tu și tu mă te sumei. Nu ne șiri. Nu e tu pe. Mă sune lapta nu bulivi. Lapta nu bulivi na caila. Sucatia, sumina, supenia. Nu ți e șirina. Se nu sune lapta. Qui j'en belle, quand qui j'en charge et à courir. Si c'est pas ton parent côté, tu as besoin de force pour me lever à chercher la vie. Ou la non, mais la vie fait quand même. On fait premier pas. On ne peut pas porter couler dans le imaginer pays ça. Mais si c'est pas qu'on ingénie, on aide à nous construire plus bien. On peut avoir bon nom tout qu'à participer dans une ancienne position locale pays. Quand tu sautes, ou quand tu gonfles un bol de riz, ou à plaider de la pauvre ou bien ou non dans tout le monde. Quand qui j'en charge et qui ose être avec patience, on fait un bon professeur, qu'à former plusieurs générations citoyens qui comprennent le rôle de la société. Et puis tout, on charge de compassion, chérie. On fait un bon docteur. Ca bien prend soin frais d'accès. Chaque fois que l'eau cap grandit, on connaît Haïti pas petit bataille ça. Pendant la fleurie va pédé Haïti beau journée. C'est où que l'espoir? C'est sous moi qu'Haïti parie.